and runs through 2 a.m. All right, stay with us. The news continues right now with Sean and Sarah. Right now at 6, a hot and humid 4th of July. Thousands are braving the heat to take part in today's big festivities. We're tracking the chance of storms and their impact on the celebrations. Bullets leaving broken glass and several people injured behind in gang-related shootings in Fairfax County. Details next. And a bizarre pursuit after this small intruder snuck into a police station. The news at 6 starts right now. A steamy 4th of July is turning into a stormy one. We are seeing some storms popping up tonight that could have an impact on your plans. The storms are popping up in the midst of the heat wave. Despite another day of brutal temperatures, thousands of people ventured downtown for the annual parade this morning. Here's a live look at the mall right now where you can see thousands of people have gathered. Preparations are underway for the president's salute to America. And we've also learned that the celebration may be delayed due to the weather. Capitol Police ordered an evacuation of the West Lawn of the Capitol, which is the exact opposite end of the National Mall, which is where tonight's Capitol concert will take place. We're going to keep you posted with the latest on that. And we have live team coverage. Fox Live's Ike Ejiachi is on the National Mall with the preparations for tonight's events. First, though, Michelle Rotella is tracking your chances for severe weather. Michelle. All right, that's right. Well, we did have a few severe thunderstorm warnings earlier just this evening, but a lot of them have expired. But things really started to ramp up throughout the afternoon hours. Still dealing with a few pockets of some heavy rain across the area in the area where we did.